Christmas special, a show all about opinion polls, surveys, statistics and Christmas. Did you know, for example, 10% of pet owners buy their pet an outfit for Christmas? I bought my puppies an outfit for Christmas. It was a duffel bag to go swimming in. <laughs> <laughs> nice pair. That is clenched. You can crack walnut in that. I could crack a relax, walnut. Relax, relax. Drink it in, Bruno. That's what a real oh, man God, looks like. Oh, no. <laughs> Can I just say, while he was drinking it in, I think a bit went on me. And... <laughs> Another, we're forming a boy band together. <laughs> we are. <laughs> it's called One Erection. He's going to be huge. Is he weird being heckled from behind? <laughs> I'm actually used to it, Sean. 7% <laughs> of people who give presents say it's the thought that counts, and generally the thought is, that'll do. <laughs> and 14% of Brits drink more than they intend to over Christmas, which isn't easy because they intend to get absolutely bloody shit-faced. <laughs> right, let's get started. <laughs> What are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. It's our panellist's job to get the British public's top three favourite Christmas traditions. Sean, your team, what do you think the nation love about Christmas? People like Christmas presents, don't they? You cannot have Christmas without Christmas presents. You, you don't have to have the turkey, you don't have to have the tree, but without presents, it's just uh, gathering. <laughs> It's just a Sunday, isn't it? It's just a Sunday or yeah. a bank holiday Monday we have to see your family. Mm. <laughs> yeah. If you're watching, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Christmas presents, what are you hoping for this year? What I would really like is one of those... Uh, there's a Justin Bieber doll <laughs> I, w I would like. And uh, I hope it's really well made, cos it's got some serious shit coming its way. <laughs> 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 I open it and go... <laughs> <laughs> What's Bieber. wrong with Justin? What's wrong with Justin Bieber? Yeah. Oh, I, we haven't really... It's only a sort of an hour-long show, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you're so bitter, you're jealous because he's young and he's pretty. <laughs> hey, you old hag. <laughs> you old hag. <laughs> John, are you, are you hoping for anything this Christmas, or...? Uh, just some uh, celebrity-endorsed perfumes. <laughs> oh, yes. It's fantastic. I'm planning a range. Oh, well, I've just released a fragrance. <laughs> As an adult, a present yeah. means you turn up at a mate's house unexpected and you hear him run into the kitchen and wrap up a jar of mincemeat or something. <laughs> Did you say your friend had wrapped it, though? Cos boys aren't normally very good at wrapping, are they? Oh, yeah, but in old kitchen towel out of the bin. Because <laughs> my boyfriend used to be rubbish at wrapping. He used to just get my present and put it in his man bag. And I had to close my eyes and feel around amongst the socks and the pepperonis. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno, what's yes. the best gift you've ever got? I actually have to buy it for myself. You have to I, buy ne it I never get any gifts. It's terrible, isn't it? Come on, you must have got. You no, must have got some. I never did. Is that because you're really sort of sexually aggressive? No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, have you got anything on your Christmas list this year? What are you hoping for? Uh, trouser press. <laughs> I like Christmas, I just don't like the shopping bit. So I, I do a thing where I go to one shop and I'll get everyone's present. Like this year, I chose Screw Fix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> 15 minutes a lot. Job done. 
<laughs> Effective. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you bought any good gifts? Have you? I, I always shop really late. In fact, I shop so late I don't buy anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, it's all about customer service. Have a look at this. Selling is service. And service is selling. Service is selling. And selling is service. <laughs> I'm Great. selling to the customers to make them feel all right. I'm buying all these products with oh so much delight. I can help you find anything you could possibly want. Such ostentatious goodies that I can flaunt. Selling is service. And service is selling. Service is selling. And selling is service. To say I'm, I'm pretty sick of people using sex to sell stuff. Just give it a rest. Yeah. Yeah. There's no customers in that shop. <laughs> oh, there are two serial killers, and <laughs> all the customers are in the back like they're horrible. <laughs> This year will be an interesting year for department store Santas, because with all the scandals we've had, I imagine they'll have to take a very hands-off approach <laughs> with the kids. They'll probably be actually be in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids will be about 30 <laughs> feet away, <laughs> and they'll shout through a loud hailer, I want some Lego! <laughs> and the Santa will go, ho, ho, ho. And then he'll hand it to a policeman to take the... <laughs> the big present this year, if you've got, for kids, is the... This is the number one gift this year. The, uh... What, Heather Trot from EastEnders? Let's <laughs> 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 um... oh, have a look and see if Christmas presents are up there. <laughs> yes, Christmas presents, of course. Last year, I bought my girlfriend a Hoover. She didn't want it, so it's just been gathering dust. <laughs> Johnson, what are the Christmas traditions you think people love? Is it Christmas TV? Well, that's the Strictly Christmas special. Well, that's isn't brilliant, it? yeah. Christmas special. Yeah. Your show is pretty huge at Christmas, isn't it? Massive. I don't yeah. know, see how that show could possibly get any more tinselly and sparkly. How does it get up to sort of Christmas level? Surely it's almost like there's a danger of tinsel poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> there's so much glitter and tinsel everywhere. But there is even more at Christmas. More fake tan, glitters everywhere, snow. You have to watch it. It's brilliant. My biggest fear is that my telly breaks on Christmas Day. There's nothing else to do, is there? You know, the pub's closed, the zoo's closed. <laughs> uh, you, your mates aren't allowed to come out to play. <laughs> it's Christmas Day. I don't know what I'll do. It's probably just hide in the woods. <laughs> you watch TV at Christmas? I do, yeah, cos I don't have a table, so we just sit on the sofa with trees. <laughs> I think that's nicer, though, isn't it? I don't understand people who don't have tellies because I don't know how everything weighs at all aiming towards. That's where your, <laughs> seat, your seats are all pointing towards something. <laughs> what is it pointing towards? Books! <laughs> <laughs> Posh people, though, they, st they don't watch anything but the Queen's Speech, do they? That's the test. If you watch the Queen's Speech, because no-one else watches it, because she's just lying. If she was honest about her year, it'd be funny. But she doesn't. Like, if you see her, she said, I've seen a lot of my family this year. Harry's cock, Kate's tits. <laughs> <laughs> but she doesn't. She'll bluff over it. Goes, it's been a lovely year. I've got a lovely house. I quite like to, I quite like to see the outtakes, cos she's not going to have nailed it first time. <laughs> <laughs> this year's... Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Go again. <laughs> I'll get it this time, I promise. Fucking autocue. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if Christmas TV and films are up there. <laughs> yes, Christmas television. You know, Bruno, I love a bit of ballroom on Christmas Day, and that's why I wear tracky bottoms. Right. <laughs> 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 oh, <isn't> it? <laughs> OK, uh, fingers on buzzers, one more thing to get. What do you think, John? Is it going to church? You know, religion and all that real meaning. <clears throat> As if anyone wants the real meaning of Christmas. I drink heavily to avoid the real meaning of anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm about. But people, they go to church, don't they? And... Yeah, apparently three million people attend church on Christmas Day. It's, it's one of those things you're either into... I look at the church like Claire's accessories. I'm probably never going to go in one. <laughs> but for people that need it, absolutely fine. Pop down the <laughs> If I end up in Claire's accessories, something's gone wrong. I've had some sort of breakdown. <laughs> 
the idea of going to midnight mass is exciting, isn't it? You think, yeah. oh, I'm a little bit tipsy, it's yeah. cold as candles, there's been like beautiful music and a lovely church. And then you get there, and a bloke in a dress talks about his invisible friend for two hours. <laughs> <laughs> like, wake me up when they serve the wine. I assume that was why it's so popular, because it's after pub chucking out time, isn't it? And people are just like, they'll have wine, let's go there. <laughs> I'm a bell ringer. So, um... <laughs> Bruno, that does not mean what yeah. you think it means. No, I just have a thought. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm a bell ringer, so, like, Christmas Day is like our FA Cup final. <laughs> yeah, but the lads are ready, and we're just going to go out and enjoy ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> sure, do you go to church on Christmas? No, I don't, no, Jimmy. For me, you go, you're in or you're out. It's a bit like, um, skiing. <laughs> you're either skiing or you're not. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's very, not my best analogy, that one. <laughs> right. I mean, it's it's a bit like eating works. soup. It's a bit like eating soup. You're either eating soup or you're going, oh, I don't fancy that. Well, it could be, could be. People have soup like. You don't every half now. do it, yeah. do you? No, you do. I do. I don't have soup every day, but I sometimes fancy soup. Yeah. yeah. I like the skiing. You're right. Or... It's not a good one, is it? I'm trying to think of a better one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Third one, come it's on. It's a bit like. Um, oh, Racism. No. <laughs> so you either wear a bra or you don't. Well, I do that sometimes. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to be an altar boy. You used to be an altar boy. Oh yeah. Christ, that explains a lot. Um... <laughs> and I got to, I got promoted to the incensey thing where you do that. What is that? It's like oh, a that's solo. Like a swing. That's so the incense. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure what you were doing with your hand. Catholic Church is well renowned. They never laid a finger on me. Or me. I'd never had any problems in that department. It was me. They found me a bit sexually aggressive. Actually. <laughs> 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 Just back off, all right. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you, going to church is not up there. Not oh. one of our favourite traditions. Midnight Mass is held on Christmas Eve at midnight to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, who was born at Pretendo Clock on the 32nd of Neverwary. <laughs> OK, fingers on buzzers. One more thing to get. Christmas dinner, maybe? Christmas dinner is... I mean, it's pretty unbelievably good. Well, it's just huge. You know, it's, it's, all, it's always good for me. <laughs> We're entertaining for the first time ever this year. My boyfriend's cooking, though. I'm just in charge of chopping. Apparently 60% of Christmas dinners are prepared by the man. Rest of the year, not fussed about the cooking. Christmas, I want to take control here. <laughs> Why don't they just do the carving? <laughs> How is carving meant to be an honour? You're just hacking at meat. <laughs> if you're doing it properly, it's not hacking at no. meat. <laughs> I do it in the garden, in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> and you get to eat the whole thing yourself. No one's going to touch it. <laughs> but what's what? Have you cooked it first? <laughs> <laughs> really can't remember at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Men always want to set fire to the um, Christmas pudding as well, don't they? That's a manly thing, isn't it? Mm. And you can just see your dad, if it's not working out very well, if it's not taking light, he just goes off and comes back with a jerry can. <laughs> oh, this will work. <laughs> Fire and raisins. <laughs> My idea of Christmas, I think, as you get older, you want to have it every two years. It comes around <laughs> too often. I think every two years would be good. Firstly, it means finally Slade have to dip into their pension pot. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine the size of the turkeys. They'd be huge, wouldn't they? You know, you'd have to keep getting them in the oven, like... Ugh, like trying to get Chris Moyles in a smart car. Because <laughs> <laughs> people just pretend that they like turkey on Christmas Day and they ignore it the rest of the year round. It's the same with your nana. <laughs> just... <laughs> Be honest, though, just, it sort of is. She's just boring and dry. <laughs> the dripping. That's what we have fights over in my house, the turkey dripping. And we pour off all the fat and then you leave it in the fridge and you get a big layer of fat and you get the jelly, and that's like the essence of the soul of the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the cabinet. It is, it's delicious. And you, you, you try it, a lot of people put it in the gravy, put some in the gravy, and then on Boxing Day, you scrape up a big piece of fat, put it on some toast, and then get the jelly on. And we have oh. fights in my house. <laughs> well, who can get the ambulance first? <laughs> 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 Luckily, we all get defibrillators for Christmas. <laughs> it's delicious. Aldi this year are doing a four bird roast for 9 99 and it's got pork stuff in it. That's five dead animals for a tenner. <laughs> if you can kill and raise five things for a tenner, 
Yeah, that's no, not that's right, not is it? Done. So I'm trying to avoid all that. Do you think they all live together inside In the other? same place. <laughs> <laughs> like, when, when, uh, when the goose opened its mouth, there was a chicken in there and a duck. For <laughs> 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 sakes, daylight. <laughs> they cut their balls off as well. Like, animals, they cut their balls off so they taste better, because apparently you can taste randiness. Which means I am safe from cannibalism. <laughs> but I imagine I taste very gamey. <laughs> I've castrated goats. You've done what I've now? castrated How? goats. When did you castrate a goat? I castrated goats when I was 18, 19. I castrated dozens of goats. It's actually very simple. What you do is you get, a, you get, you get rubber bands. Yeah. You get a oh, yeah, three or four this. day old goat. Yeah. And you just tie it many times around its, its testicles and they wither and go black and then just fall off. Yeah, the weird thing was he was working as an optician at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno, the, the, yeah. uh, the Italian Christmas, what do you eat? Well, in, it's in different. It's, quite, it's very different, actually. What we start, usually you start with antipasti. She sounds nice. Prosecco, <laughs> parma ham, let's say, uh, little grilled peppers. Uh, Parmesan cheese with lovely prosecco. Then you have a starter, which usually is a soup, tortellini in brodo, which is delicious. Then you have the boiled meats. Then you have the roasts. Then you have the cakes. So it's kind of it's, it's different. We don't have turkey. And are you surrounded at this by all the Dolmio family? <laughs> <laughs> Simulating yeah, people. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas is it's like all rule, all bets are off on Christmas Day. You can go right cornflakes. I'm gonna have them with Bailey's. Delicious. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about this today. Cocoa pops with Baileys, and make a cocoa pop rice crispy cake as a little cup, pour the Baileys into it. Willy Wonka land, innit? Eat the cup. <laughs> that would be fucking amazing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Here's your advert as well. Oh, there you go. These are fucking oh. amazing. Honestly, <laughs> 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 fuck me. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if Christmas dinner is one of our favourite things. <laughs> Indeed. Our favourite Christmas tradition is Christmas dinner. Pigs in blankets are popular around my house at Christmas. That's my girlfriend and a sister watching TV in oh. a blanket. <laughs> yeah, you can laugh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> so those were the top Christmas traditions. But Christmas is about much more than that. Last year, the lights in Oxford Street were turned on by Take That, as were hundreds of middle-aged women. <laughs> and... When it comes to decorating the tree, there's nothing better than going up to the loft, dusting off that old box, bringing it down to the living room, opening it up, realising you've accidentally brought down your old porn mags, going back up to the loft, and half an hour later coming down with the Christmas decorations. <laughs> so at the end of that round, John, Bruno and Joe have one point. Sean, Sarah and Stephen have two points. That's it for part one. See you after the break. Welcome back to our Ten Cats Christmas special. Can you, can you hear that? Can you hear oh. that, ladies and gentlemen? I think that might mean... I think that means Santa Claus is coming. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Nick Helm, our Santa Claus. Hey, Santa. Hello. Is it a busy time of, of year for you, Santa Claus? Is it a busy time of year for me, is it, Jimmy? You taking the piss? <laughs> Just asking, is it? Yes, Jimmy, it's fucking busy right now. <laughs> right, OK. Well, we were going to book you in the summer, but people weren't into it. <laughs> He's such a prick. <laughs> OK, how come you're here? Just tell us why you're here, sir. I'm here because I'm going to ask a series of questions, and then if you get it right, you get a nice gift, and if you get it wrong, you get a pile of shit. So... Okay. <laughs> so we're going to do this. Good you're Christmas happy? Eve. I'll stop talking over my bit. <laughs> So, uh, this first question is to you, John. OK. John, true or false, 70% of dog owners buy their pet a Christmas present? Oh, it's got to be 100, hasn't it? Why would you get a dog if you were an evil shit who wasn't going to buy it a Christmas present? <laughs> I will say... Trolls? <laughs> <laughs> I really want a present. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's true. You think it's true? Yeah? I think it's true. It is true! <laughs> it is true! <laughs> it is true! Oh, yeah. Oh, no. This is for you. Um, the elves love you. Uh, and you, Sarah, as well. They love you as well, Sean. They love you, Joe. 
Uh, you, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been a naughty fucker this year, haven't you? <laughs> 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 They've written you a novel. <laughs> what was the title of the book, John? It's Pride, Prejudice and Debauchery <laughs> by Jane Austen and Sylvia Hadfield. It's, it's a personalised erotic novel for you. Sarah took the lead and directing Richardson to a conveniently lonely direction, perfect for their purpose, they set to hiding themselves away beneath dark trees and kissed at last. Richardson unbuttoned his trousers with one hand. <laughs> the other twined around Sarah's neck and quickly he pulled out a very fair prick. <laughs> a full stand. <laughs> Richardson took Sarah's hand and placed her fingers upon and around his urgent cock. <laughs> she grasped it tightly. <laughs> Ooh, Richardson! <laughs> It's going to finally happen, man. <laughs> That's a great gift, and I'm very grateful for it. Good. <laughs> OK, this next question is for Joe. Hello, Joe. Hello. You remind me of a young me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joe, mm. name all of my reindeer. Can we help him? No! <laughs> um, Jermaine, Tito, <laughs> Janet, Latoya, <laughs> Latoya, and um, Michael. Mickey. Don't know, sorry. I'm... Dozy Dee, Sneezy, Bashful, Doc. They're dwarves! <laughs> <laughs> They're Jacksons and dwarves! <laughs> <laughs> you got the shit gift. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> balaclava? Is it the balaclava or something? So, so I say shit gift. Um, it's bloody. Is it. It's like. Um, it's just like me in negative. <laughs> uh, thank you, Santa. <laughs> so, uh, Bruno, what's yeah. the biggest selling Christmas single of all time? White Christmas by Bing Crosby, or do they know it's Christmas by Band Aid? White Christmas by Bing Crosby. Yeah, fine, fuck it, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> keep it short, keep it sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I've got no oh, idea. Oh, Liam Goodman. <laughs> well, I, can, I see him nine months of the year. I don't yeah, want your it. boyfriend to wear <laughs> 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 Thanks once again, Santa. Our next round is Pick the Poll. Sean, Sarah, Stephen, pick a question. Oh, uh, the Big Ben. Big Ben, OK. Most people would rather spend New Year's Eve home alone than at a party, true or false? I love New Year's Eve, it's great. You go around, you get drunk, and you go around and you kiss and hug people and go, hey. it's like being Berlusconi for a day, isn't it? <laughs> like, <"Aah." laughs> uh, Joe, what do you do for New Year's? Try and get into parties. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you do, though? Run at them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, New Year's Eve, John, are you a big New Year's Eve guy, big party animal? I've had, I've had nights before where I've just gone out at midnight let a party popper off in my garden, come back in again. <laughs> Why is it such a big deal in Scotland? Because um, they've got nothing else to live for. <laughs> <laughs> That'll go down well north of the border. Maybe they just bagsied it. Maybe everyone got, like, a thing, and Scotland yeah. went, we'll have New Year, that'll be ours. <laughs> we'll, have, we'll have Pancak Day. Wee! Pancak Day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time like, I you... cook is Pancak Day. <laughs> <laughs> so most people would rather spend New Year's Eve home alone than at a party. Can I still have a buffet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. OK. At least if I'm on my own, there's a guarantee of sex. <laughs> 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 what do you mean? <laughs> I'm going to time it. Ten! <laughs> <laughs> so that's 
a hooter nanny. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's get some odds on this. So most people would rather spend New Year's home alone rather than at a party. What do you think, John? No one wants to say in, do they? False. You're saying false? What false. are you saying? False. You're saying false? Okay, I can yeah. tell you the answer is false. Oh. Yeah. 62% of people would rather go to a party on New Year's Eve than stay home alone. So at the end of that round, Sean, Sarah and Stephen have three points. John, Bruno and Joe have two points. <laughs> That's it for part two. See you after the break. Ten Cats Christmas special. I think that sound might mean that Santa's back. Santa, everyone. <laughs> oh, hello again, Santa. Hello. I think we got off on slightly the wrong foot earlier. What have you been up to since since you were last here? I've just been sat out there. <laughs> <laughs> you could have delivered some presents in that time. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. We'll do it. I've got to rattle through it. Yeah, fine, yeah. yeah brilliant. OK, cool. fine. Sean, what do people prefer to receive? Homemade presents or bought ones? <sighs> bought ones. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Blimey. It's a body. <laughs> at least a head. Got one. <laughs> <laughs> Santa got you that. You can't just fling it back in his face. I got one. Wrong tog. <laughs> you, mean you haven't got one of those. What? Oh, it's a sleeping bag. It's not. Oh. <laughs> it's it's technically a sleeping bag, but it's got legs. Oh. Hello. We got it for you. Oh, I see. Come on. Wear it. Come on. <laughs> You like camping? Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I like camping. I don't like scaring other campers. <laughs> You're my favourite, Sean. Thanks. <laughs> They've got a little nozzle so we can fill it with helium and just carry it around. <laughs> like a little... an angry balloon. <laughs> <laughs> you look like an alcoholic who thinks he's a Teletubby. <laughs> It looks, it looks a little bit like a safe sex campaign. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like my immersion heaters come to life. <laughs> Something really quite bad could happen to me wearing this suit. How's it looking from the orange? It's <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. pretty, <laughs> pretty okay. Are you enjoying the show there? Oh, the <laughs> red, oh, the Sorry, did you just say? Oh, did you just say that's a pretty <laughs> hot candy? Nice, are you yeah. enjoying the show? Oh, that is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's that good look here. Mr. Blobby's been on a diet, hasn't he? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. There oh, you go. Cheers. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> Santa. It's a lovely gift. So who's next? Good, right, brilliant. Sarah. True or false? In Estonia, it's traditional on Christmas Eve to have a sauna with your family. True. True. Yeah, it is, which is all sorts of fucked up, so... <laughs> <laughs> I think it sounds lovely, having so a bath outside get a, with their family. You get a present, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a doll of me. <laughs> what was it called? It's called the Mega Millican. <laughs> Can I get it out? Yeah, yeah. Let me see if it's anatomically correct. Because I have got a cock. Um, <laughs> that is terrifying. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite scared of you. <laughs> Good. Okay. All right, brilliant. Third one of Stephen. Who would people rather spend Christmas with, their own family or the royal family? Oh, their own family. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's for you. Thank you. He's got an attitude. <laughs> You're just picking up on that now. Ladies and gentlemen, Santa Claus, give him a round of applause. Thank you, Santa. 
And the winner is, is the name of our final round. Here is your question. Top thing Brits only do at Christmas. Eat chocolate for breakfast. Only do at Christmas. Well, I... Oh, no. <laughs> I don't like... I don't like advent calendars. Oh, I like an advent calendar. We got a really good one last year, and uh, and I came home on like the second or third of December from a few days away, and my boyfriend looked really guilty, and I said, "What have you done?" And he said, "I've eaten a fortnight." <laughs> 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 I think some people only do at Christmas is drink eggnog. Eggnog? It's liquid egg. <laughs> Why would you want to drink that? You only should drink it if there's loads of alcohol, and then even then, it still tastes like glee. You're, you're not a fan of eggnog? I've got, I've got a little drinky treat for you. You haven't yes, got eggnog, egg. have you? Well, I've got, I've got better than eggnog. What I've done is I've, I've got some eggnog, but I've bought some bacon-flavoured vodka. Oh. <laughs> so I'm making yeah. bacon and eggnog. <laughs> let's, let's have that. OK? <laughs> <laughs> it's just egg and cream. Why would you do it? All right, well, I take it you don't want one, then. I'll have one. Well, I'll have one. <laughs> I've yeah. got some other drinks. Don't worry about that. I'll pass is these that... to Go on, I'll, I'll give you two of these over here. Where's Hang the on. vodka, though? It's just egg. I'll give you the vodka in one second. Hang on. There's the vodka. Just... But taste that genuinely. Yeah, do you want to put it in the eggnog or just... I mean, that looks like a pussy discharge. No, no, that's already no. in the eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> the other drinks that I've got for you, just because Christmas drinks are fun, yeah, I've got... No, this is pizza-flavoured no. beer. I'll no. have a go on that. What's that sure. one? Sure. <laughs> so it's, it's beer, but genuinely tastes of a pizza. Get involved. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you want to give that a go? Oh, yeah, I'll have a go, yeah. <laughs> go. Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> I want some beans. Did you drink them? <laughs> you drink them? I, have mine with a, I have mine with a fried slice. A lot of the stuff I drink smells of bacon because I don't do the washing up properly. <laughs> <laughs> he drank both. That <laughs> joke. <laughs> there you He's go. He's vile. Bruno. He's absolutely vile. Yeah. Get, get, uh, give that, me that. some more, my darling. Oh, I haven't had bacon Gen for months. Genuinely, that, is the, that, taste, that taste of pizza. That taste of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Changed my mind. It's not a pussy discharge. <laughs> I'm gonna smell so good on the tube home. <laughs> okay, so top thing Brits only do at Christmas is something you do at Christmas dinner. Speak, speak to your crackers, relatives. Crackers, 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 crackers. Crackers, 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 crackers. Christmas crackers. Christmas crackers, crackers. is the right answer. It's the same with well, that sound tells me it's the end of the round and the end of the show, and I can tell you it's a draw. Everyone's a winner. our wonderful studio audience and to all of you watching at home. That's it from us. Good night and a Merry Christmas. <laughs>